Welcome back to episode uh, 31 or 32 of our deep dive. We are going to take this ancient empress wherever she wants to go, but I hope that she wants to go somewhere interesting. I'm not terribly interested in um, in going back to Iox, because in this run we haven't done anything with Iox. Uh, it's totally undeveloped. If we go there, we're going to have a bunch of contexts that are either going to be back at the beginning of the game or are going to have to come up with some way to skip ahead to things that we have never developed. Um, so that's going to be an interesting challenge if that is, in fact, where the Empress demands we go. Oh, no. Is that on Iox? Or are you planning to go to the Empress's palace that we discovered earlier? Let's find out. Oh, she wants to go to Iox. Can I take her somewhere else? No, she wants to go to Iox. Okay, that's fine. You can see Iox is a pretty quick little jaunt. Let's go ahead and do it. Oh, now she's calling me Aaliyah rather than Simpleton. Since you're asking nicely, I'm perfectly happy to listen. What have you got for me? <laughs> this robot is so much nicer than our first robot. Uh, by which I mean just more fun to be around. She's she's actually quite mean. We should be more than halfway to our destination. It's not really very far at all. But the question is, which of these is actually faster? I guess the right-hand path is just a touch faster. We could get there uh, even faster, I think, if I hit G and passed control, but I, I just don't like doing that. It feels, uh, you know, cheaty. And when I play Fallout, I don't like fast traveling either. I think it's a pox. You should design your game so that the traveling is part of the game. So I don't really understand this um, this idea that uh, we are helping her or she's helping us or whatever. We've uncovered the find of our lives. We've uncovered a living, sort of living empress. This is obviously something we're just going to stick to like glue. All of our other priorities have been rescinded. So it's like, <laughs> sort of like in Mass Effect when we uncovered the ancient Prothean. It's like... That's kind of higher priority than anything else. I don't know why we're still doing random other stuff. Um, this is way more important than terraforming a world or whatever. Especially since this is literally what we were looking for. We want ancient cool things. And we found the ancientest coolest thing. An evil empress. Well, yeah. Maybe not evil. Excuse me. Hope you couldn't hear that. So she's trying to describe... Yeah, she's describing uh, the ancient Iox Empire, um, which had a very different and much more aggressively um, decadent lifestyle, apparently. As I, I don't think it matters how we respond to him in terms of, you know, whether we tell jokes or whatever. We haven't been to Iox in a long damn time. So let's find out what's changed. Mm. He's going to give us a toy? Oh, 
Kong here is really, really useful at helping us to translate things. Um, so we'll be able to get some of the more complicated translations that we've been having trouble with um, sorted. We're back into a conversational thing, but the problem, of course, is that um, the conversation engine isn't very much fun to watch someone let's play. There isn't enough feedback, and it moves too fast for me to talk over, and it moves... When, when you have a decision, the decision only lasts for a couple of seconds before it fa you know, fades away. You don't get to make it, so it's really, really rough to LP. Did they bury you alive as a robot? Does that count as even being alive? Cool. Let's go to the library. We can talk to the guy who believes in the loop. We'll see whether or not he faints. I'm actually not sure where she wants to go here on Iox. I think that she only wants to go to Iox because they know that Iox needs a shot in the arm. Um, the contexts tend to lag if you're not involved here already. I'm so glad that you think the same thing as me. Let's see if I can give it to Huang or something. But I already burned out your crown. Sorry, lady. I didn't know anybody was going to be coming back. I don't know why Enkai would have any guesses. I did come. Oh, nice. I was kind of worried he was going to try and propose marriage or something. Like, come on, this is not the time. <laughs> It's so nice that six isn't six anymore. <laughs> this new six is uh, both more obedient and way, way more cool. A monastery of questions. Ooh, but he might know where it is. Oh, come on. Don't disappoint me. So this is where we learn about the library that that key is supposedly to. But we didn't learn about this beforehand, and we are already talking about how it's a library. Um, so now we're kind of catching up to ourselves, the idea that we... <laughs> the things that we spoke about before we now actually know about. Hooray! Oh, well, that sounds like a river map to me. The eye of the cyclones, the eye of the serpent, the eye of the what? This is a great camera angle that we've got here. We don't have any ability to actually adjust these cameras, unfortunately. All right, so if I could slow the the dialogue down considerably, I'd voice act through it. Okay, that was knowledge, um, but I can't. It's too fast. Let's see whether or not Huang will um, take a look at any of the things we got. You wanted an ancient book? I brought you an ancient book. Oh, come on. You can read it. 
<laughs> yeah. So these glyphs actually have meaning, like per word meaning. So he doesn't like gate. He wants it to be something that doesn't have any sort of, um, this doesn't have an action element in it, so it can't be gate. But what could it be? Well, it could be precise or hard. This lightning bolt, we don't have any really strong idea as to what these things mean. Um, so we don't really have any ability to choose between precise and hard here. But I think that um, a holy pilgrim and a um, hard stranger sounds pretty iffy. But precise is really, I don't know. Let's see whether or not they went with the, uh, the pornographic one. Yeah, all of them. I really don't have anything to hide from uh, from Huang here. Oh, you you have a telescope? Wait, are we gonna have five of these telescopes? Or did he just have the inscription? I can't tell because the um, art assets don't really keep us informed. Uh, hello? There we are. Oh, it's from a sextant. Now, unfortunately, the rest of this episode might be pretty dull because it's all talky bits, and talky bits don't show up very well from this game. Um, but let's go ahead and take a look. We got some stars, we got some stars, we got some ats, we got some ands, we got some uh, look, look, You don't think so? What don't we have? No looking? Oh, you didn't like that? All right. Well, let's take a look at look again. Um, at stars and there we are. The second stars is something that's not stars. It might mean like nebula or something, but we've already got nebula. So this is stars and this is something else. Um, and so this is like very close to sleep. So dream. Excuse me again. Hmm. More dialogue to translate. Uh, the idea of taking spaces out was brilliant. It's really what gives this its its durability. So uh, good idea with that. Um, so what have we got? Uh, da, 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 da. Come on. Really? Hmm. Hmm. Sky God, something, life upon the river. Breathe, this is almost certainly true, don't you think? I think so. Shall we just keep mining this guy? We've spent weeks and weeks and weeks away from, from being able to talk to him, so... Uh, I'm definitely not finished with the telescope yet. Uh, I plan to um, to follow where it goes. Let's see whether or not we can show him some more stuff. Uh, this uh, Huang is, is is nice because he doesn't appear to ever get tired. <laughs> um, you know. Citizen. Didn't he say it was sailors? I wasn't paying super attention, but... Okay, 
I could move the camera for a second. So he found some junk. And now we're going to translate some more junk. Hooray! Junk, a junk, a junk. So, um, I don't think that stars. Yeah, it's not. I don't don't know why by has an X in it. Well, whatever. So here is star, and then here is light. So, obviously. A slightly better interface for this would have made a big difference. Um, I would have loved the ability to have these, like, just as as elements that I could pull in and push off, you know, arrange them on a table. So he could just start throwing things on the table and I could translate them and toss them aside and hand them over to him. Oh, you know what I just realized? I just realized we've had this game muted this whole time. Uh, so we'll just uh, unmute it. It's not like I was ever having it very loud. I was recording The Sims 4 and there was a high chance that that music would have gotten me in copyright problems so um, this doesn't seem the sky god pees up no Uh, because continually solving one and then saying, do you have any more like that? It would make a lot, it would be a lot smoother and a lot better if we took that interface that we were already using to translate these and made that, made it, um, um, uh, diegetic, made it, made it like a table and he could put stuff on it. Oh no, he got tired. Oh, is that because I told him that he could, um, archive it? I shouldn't have told him he could archive it. Wow, he's gone. Let's ransack the place. Shh, don't tell him we're going to take all his books. To be honest, I would probably enjoy this game even if I was just playing as Huang. Can you imagine um, being the librarian and then suddenly a whole bunch of people start bringing you ancient, ancient books from long before... Um, from long before, you know, books were supposed to exist and you have to sit there and translate them all and put them together. And I'm like, well, do you have anywhere I could go? And you'd be like, oh no, I have to actually translate these ancient charts and send them off. It'd be sort of like a, a guild management game. All right, Empress, what would you like to do? What are we taking a look about? I don't care how many died locating it. I want to know where it was. You located it. Now you can relocate it. Oh, good. Huang's back. So it's not, it's not a permanent loss. So, you know, he doesn't just completely leave forever. Oh, but he's not going inside the library. That's kind of interesting. And I can't talk to him. Hmm. Maybe he is gone for good. That's what I get for letting him keep stuff, I suppose. Oh, well. Well, let's go ahead and um, end this here, and then we'll begin the next episode and go on upstairs. I want to just read this thing here. So she overthrew the robots because they were cruel, or she helped overthrow the, you know, the Empire overthrew the robots because they were cruel and tyrannical. And uh, she repeated the process because the Empire had grown cruel and tyrannical. All right, so I'll be right back.